What's up, it's Cinema Show Gun here, and in my last video, I talked a little bit about my concerns with artificial intelligence. We also talked a little bit about the godfather of AI, Jeffrey Hinton. You know, Jeffrey Hinton has been studying AI before most of us even knew AI existed. Hell, this dude was all up in that artificial intelligence well before I was even born. He's been one of the lead voices and one of the lead minds behind AI. Without him, artificial intelligence would not be where it's at today. And that's for sure. But you know, we also talked about the fact that after devoting his life, after a lifetime of working on artificial intelligence, he just recently quit his job at Google. He just recently stepped away from AI. And he is now warning people of how dangerous it is. In fact, he's now dedicating the remainder of his days to not working on AI, to not furthering the advancement of AI, but warning people about AI. How dangerous it is how rapidly it's advancing, and the many ways it will, not can, but will affect our society. In many ways, it's kind of already too late. The genie is out of the bottle. The cat's out of the bag. You know, once you get to a certain point, there's no turning back. And it's evident that there's no turning back here. You know, he understands the dangers. He's warning of the dangers. He quit his job in order to do so. But Google released a statement. Basically, thank you for your services. And we're going to continue to plow straight ahead and ignore all of these dangers. That's basically what they've said. But, you know, in the last video, I went over a lot of my thoughts I told you about how this guy, you know, stepped down. He's warning people. But I want you to hear from him himself. He recently sat down with PBS to just warn of some of the dangers. Now, of course, like I told you all before, there's a potential that AI could wipe out all of human life. But even if things never get that bad, there's so many other ways that AI will negatively impact us. Sure, AI may make our life more convenient in certain ways, but is that always a good thing? And is there a future for humanity if there's no jobs left for us to do? If a computer does everything for us? Well, I want you to hear from Jeffrey Hinton, and then I'll be back with some more thoughts. I think there's a lot of different things we need to worry about with this, with these new kinds of digital intelligence. And so what I've been talking about mainly is what I call the existential threat, which is the chance that they get more intelligent than us and they'll take over from us, they'll get control. That's a very different threat from many other threats, which are also severe. So they include um, these things taking away jobs. In a decent society, that would be great. It would mean ev everything got more productive and everyone was better off. But the danger is that it'll make the rich richer and the poor poorer. That's not AI's fault. That's how we organize society. Um, there's dangers about them making it impossible to know what's true by having so many fakes out there. That's a different danger. That's something you might be able to address by treating it like counterfeiting. Governments do not like you printing their money. And they make serious, it's a serious offence to print money. It's also a serious offence if you're given some fake money to pass it to somebody else. If you knew it was fake, that's a very serious offence. I think government's going to have to make similar regulations for fake videos and fake voices and fake images. It's going to be hard. As far as I can see, the only way to stop ourselves being swamped by these fake videos and fake voices and fake images is to have strong government regulation that makes it a serious crime. You go to jail for 10 years if you produce a video with AI and it doesn't say it's made with AI. That's what they do for counterfeit money. 
And this is as serious a threat as counterfeit money. So my view is that's what they ought to be doing. I actually talked to Bernie Sanders last week about it, and he liked that view of it. You know, while listening to him and the various ways in which he says AI could affect us, what really sticks out to me is what comes after. You know, I already knew that AI would replace a lot of jobs. I already knew the various ways in which AI could dismantle our society. It's nice hearing it from him, but he's only confirming what I already basically knew. But one thing that I haven't thought of much is the rules and regulations that will come afterwards. You hear him calling for strict laws. Oh, if you produce an AI video and you don't say it's AI, you should get 10 years in jail. We're going to have to crack down on this and that. And, you know, when I hear things like that, it makes me worry. Because I don't like too much government overreach. I don't like them controlling too much. But I understand that, like I've told you all before, he's correct. We are moving into a time where AI, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. You're going to go online, maybe even watch it on the news. You'll see fake videos of Joe Biden saying something something that he didn't even say. You'll see fake videos of Donald Trump saying things that he didn't even say. Political propaganda will be at a whole new level because if you want to rub someone's name through the dirt, you just generate an AI video of them doing something or saying something wrong. And it's going to be hard to tell fact from fiction. That's dangerous. That's scary. Think of it. What if you have an enemy? Maybe you have an ex-boyfriend, an ex-girlfriend, a bitter family member, a bitter someone, an enemy somewhere. And they just create a generated AI video of you saying or doing something bad and you lose your job, you lose your livelihood. And now, even though the video may be fake, you've got a certain portion of society that will always view it as real. And what's it, once it's in people's minds, it's always there. So we are headed towards some really crazy, interesting, confusing times, to say the least. As if the world isn't already confusing enough, right? But when talking about the various rules and laws that will have to come into effect, that kind of scares me as well. Because I kind of feel like this may be used as the excuse as to why they want to regulate our freedom of speech. Take away certain freedoms all because what? Because y'all decided to roll out an AI that made things tough and harder for society? It's like at the end of the day, when all is said and done, they're going to benefit from it. We are not. You may think it's beneficial that, oh, look, I can chat to an AI bot on my phone when I'm lonely. That's not that great, bro. But they're going to get richer and more powerful. They will undoubtedly use this as an excuse for more rules, more laws, more regulations. And you will think, oh, yeah, we need these rules and laws and regulations on AI. But you know, there's always something else to it. You know what I mean? There's always something else to it. But at the end of the day, we will be punished. And they will just get richer. And we will be navigating through this confusion as, I mean, they weaponize it. That, that's what's basically going to happen. They're going to weaponize AI. Now, I believe that it's going to possibly one day just get out of control. But they know the dangers of AI. But they're not doing anything to slow down. In fact, they're going full steam ahead. Investing even more money and more money. So it's obvious that they want to 
take control of this and they want to use it against us, in my opinion. That, I mean, I think that's blatantly obvious. Because if we have all the lead voices of AI warning how dangerous it is while simultaneously just going forward, I mean, how could this be for good? How can they even pretend that this is going to be used for good when they're already warning us how dangerous it is, but they're not pausing, they're not stopping, they're just moving forward. They're already projecting that, you know, millions of people are going to lose their jobs to this in an already tough economy. And I'm not talking about millions of people losing their jobs in 20 years. I'm talking about next year, the year after. We already got businesses, big businesses that have halted hiring people because they have AI doing their job. We have a Hollywood strike right now where a lot of writers are striking. They want more money. I don't necessarily agree with them, but guess what? A lot of them are going to get replaced by AI. AI is already writing news articles. AI will soon be writing movie scripts. AI will take just about every job out there except my job, which is complaining about AI. But I guess AI could do that as well, right? So, hey, <sighs> headed for some very interesting times. Let me know your thoughts though down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.